Hi friends. As you can see, look what came in the mail today. My Lisa Eldridge order, which I did not expect to arrive so promptly. I ordered my lipsticks on Friday when the launch occurred. Lisa released new shades for her luxuri- hold on, let me get the name, sorry. Luxuriously Lucent Lip Color, as well as new shades for her insanely saturated lip color line. The Luxuriously Lucent Lipstick is the easy to wear cream formula sheer moisturizing lipstick with a balmy feel and the insanely saturated lip color deliciously creamy full coverage lip color glide seamlessly demi matte finish very like in your face color much like her lip velvets which is super matte what lisa is mostly known for i think that was her first makeup product and i have plenty of those i was excited to see that she was releasing new colors for her luxuriously lucent line because i do enjoy a balmy type of a lipstick that it's not so you don't have to commit to it fully in terms it's just easy to apply it gives you the right amount of color and moisturization and if you don't know who Lisa Eldridge is I consider her to be not only a just spectacular makeup artist but a flat-out makeup historian an author a collector of vintage makeup items Lisa definitely dives in and really encompasses just like the mind of someone who loves beauty. And what makes her lipstick so interesting is that each and every color has a story. The inspiration behind the shades is so robust and I just think it remarkable every time Lisa has a different story and perspective for each and every color she creates. I bought three and wanted to quickly share a moment where <laughs> some of us might have and just want to be very honest because I, I think we all go through this. I wanted to buy a lot more. I bought three and when I saw Lisa's video, I was like, oh, 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 adding them all on the list, you know, yes to Strawberry Shock. And then I realized, hey, hey, you have a lot of the Suku lipsticks that you have not been wearing. Hmm. Even Lisa's lipsticks you have not been wearing. Hmm. So I scaled back looked at her video again, looked at the photos on her email and said, hey, hey girl, just by the shades, you know, you will wear frequently, not just here and there, but frequently because these are on the expensive side. Alisa is a, an indie brand in that it's just her, I believe. Each lipstick retails for 26 pounds. I don't know what that is in USD, but I'll put it up next to me. And I scaled it down. So I had a moment, fam, where I wanted to buy more than three. Each color spoke to me, even like the pinks. And you have heard me said before on here, I'm not crazy about pink lipsticks. To find the right pink shade that looks good on my skin tone is challenging. And as much as Lisa loves pink and how she creates nice pink colors, they don't all look great on me. But I was still seduced to like, oh, just get it anyway. And you're like, no, come on. Alicia, really? And I went on and on and on without introducing myself. My apologies, fam. I'm Alicia. If it's your first time here clicking on a video with my face on the YouTube thumbnail, I am an online coach who helps people create sustainable habits in both nutrition and movement, but I also love to talk about the makeup and also love to buy Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. The color I have on now is Je Ne Sais Quoi and Je Ne Sais Quoi is sold out. I knew it would be one of the ones that will go fast. Hard to pin down, Je Ne Sais Quoi is a warm, creamy coral. Its summery magic lies in the duality of its vibrancy and subtlety. Somehow, this lively shade manages to brighten the face without being an overtly bright shade, which is what I immediately detected when I applied this. Here is Je Ne Sais Quoi's swatch, and you can see that there is some translucency. It's not in your face, really beautiful smooth texture and it has that bit of shine and with the luxuriously lipstick shades you can build the intensity of color so you could go a few swipes over the lips but the texture is beyond smooth it does take on characteristics of a balm but a lot more pigmentation but not too much and excuse me while i bring you in a little closer here's je ne sais quoi and i i adore it i I was, it was iffy when I bought it, but I knew to get it because 
immediately just saw it was going to go just based on Lisa's description and how it looked on the several skin tones that she has all shades modeled on. What I like to do with Je ne sais quoi is kind of blot it around so it can have more of a blushed effect on the lip. And this is a great shade, wonderful for every day if I just need something on the lip quick to liven up the complexion. Again, as the description said, it gives liveliness without it being too vibrant. Apply smoothly like butter. Does not have any fragrance, does not have any like strange taste to it. It's neutral in those categories and just wonderful. And the lipstick component, brushed gold with the Lisa logo here on the top of the cap, magnetic closure. It's just luxurious elegant and wonderful to have on your vanity. The next shade I purchased, Meet Me in Berlin, but also Le Mepri. I cannot wait to try on Le Mepri. Oh, this is a first impressions, by the way, if you did not already figure that out, I'm so sorry. I was worried about Le Mepri because beiges could be Iffy, a sublimely nuanced but wearable soft beige hue that's straight out of a Jean-Luc Godard masterpiece. Think Brigitte Bardot, tousled bouffant hair and kissable lips. Okay, 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 let's try on Le Mepri. I might have to Le Mepri it with a liner. I think Lisa wore Fawn, the lip liner, and I do have that shade. So here is Le Mepri, oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the swatch here next to Je ne sais quoi. Very light. Okay, we'll see what we got here. Not bad though, because since it's a little balmy, it's not in your face like, oh, oh my God, too peachy. Here I have the Fawn lip liner. Let's slap this on quickly. That definitely gave a little more structure to it, but I really like it. It's lightweight, not too beigey agey that it washes me out. And you can definitely manipulate the intensity of it by applying more or not applying as much. You can play, of course, with the type of liner you pair with it. I also have Decade on standby, but there was another shade for the liner I wanted to pair this with. But I'm just gonna just lightly with Decade. Ooh, that's not too bad. Gave it a little more contrast. And it doesn't have to be a Lisa Eldridge liner. It could be any liner in your collection to further manipulate Le Mepri in terms of how it looks on you. If you need, again, a little more intensity around your lip for shape or to adjust the color, you can go as you like. I also have Spirited Away on standby. Spirited Away, a, an amazing uh, film. And I'm just putting it on the center. This is a really great color with Le Mepri. It gives it a little more red and just, I think, roses it up a little bit. That's pretty. I have to find Painterly. Painterly is the other luxuriously lucent lip color that released with the new velvets, was it last year? What I can't get over is how beautifully comfortable these are. But Le Mepri, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And lastly, we have Meet Me in Berlin. This I was crazy excited for. Let's pull up the shade description. Meet Me in Berlin, a deliciously rich tan shade which delivers to various intensities as a brown nude across all skin tones, inspired by a shoot I worked on in East Berlin in the early 2000s. There's a hint of the avant-garde and counterculture feel to this one. Ooh, what a story. This might be the favorite out of all of them. I don't know. We gotta see. Here is the bullet. Ooh, here is the swatch again next to it is Spirited Away, Le Mepri, Je ne sais quoi. I got grunged up real fast. Where's the Melt Gemini? Gotta put it on my eyes right now. Beautiful shade, I think it nails the vibe entirely, as suspected, would be my favorite out of the three. As much as I love Je ne sais quoi and Le Mepri, this is my jam. Just the, the tone, there's like a smokiness to it. Like Lisa had described, like that underground counterculture, like there's a grit to it. And wonderful color, not only on its own, but you know how I like to mix and match. So <laughs> let me take Le Mepri, like on the center, just to see what that does. 
We like that. And why not? Let's roll in with a decade. That was midnight. I'm a liar. I'm gonna go in with decade as I think, haha, uh -huh, this will be an appropriate pairing with Meet Me in Berlin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Meet Me in Berlin is it. It is it. Wonderful to wear a shade that has such impact but the formula itself, negative easy, in terms of it's so easy, it's laughable. To achieve this type of a look and for this color to have the richness, the nuanced just undertones that can work on a variety of skin tones. And no matter who slaps this on, it's gonna be outrageously gorgeous. Again, well done, Lisa. As I suspected, my apologies for the light change. It'll go back in a minute. Meet Me in Berlin, I thought was going to be my favorite out of the three. Not to say that the other two shades won't serve a purpose in my routine. You saw that I like to apply Le Mepri on top of Meet Me in Berlin to give a little more dimension to the lip if I wanted to go there. Je ne sais quoi has a beautiful summery look to it on days where I do want more of a coral look, especially if I'm wearing coral on the cheeks, why not coral on the lips too? That blotted feel on the lips that has a balmy feel to it, but a beautiful color as well. Maybe it's because I'm a 90s baby and this subconsciously looking back, this was the lip I wanted to have as a teenager, but didn't know how to accomplish it. I think it was maybe Max Cork and another lipstick that I wore that made me look real grown up, maybe a little too grown up. But if I had this color, a little too expensive, I guess, for a teenager to have a Lisa Eldridge lipstick, but whatever, this is it. It, it has the perfect feel. It accomplishes a lot without it being too much in terms of the application, like it's a bomb but it looks like this. How? I don't know. I would love to find Painterly. Stand by. Huzzah, I found it. Painterly next to Meet Me in Berlin. Painterly definitely has a, a more of like a, a ruddiness to it. Let me pull up the description because I probably am butchering that entirely. Chioroscuro, I said that wrong. Tint inspired by old age artist pigments, a deep, Mauve chocolate hue with the blue undertone enhances lip tone for a just bitten look. You can definitely detect more of like that mauve undertone compared to Meet Me in Berlin. Meet Me in Berlin, more brown, like tan brown in overall feel. This though, I forgot how beautiful this is. Shame on me. This is why I didn't buy more because in the back of my mind, I remembered all the Lisa Lynch in my drawer. And to buy more when I still need to wear the ones I have just made me go full stop, reevaluate my life and say, hey, calm down. Get the shades you know that are gonna kill, all right? And if the other ones sell out, oh well. That's just too bad. You're gonna have to wait until the next round, Alicia. You'll be fine. Painterly, I love. Again, as Lisa describes, that bitten look is so subtle, but the color is unique in that, although it's not in your face, it just delivers a lot. Again, it has a, the lovely story to it in terms of being uh, influenced by the art period that it's that it's influenced by and and all the details that go with it because we're here let's apply spirited away Ooh, i love spirited away not only the movie but this lipstick shade a very modern rosewood which transverses the color spectrum from brown to red to pink with a warm tone underscoring that's true see this is why i'm i gotta wear i gotta i have to leave these out so I know to wear them more often. I gravitate towards rose a lot now. Rose blush, rose tone lipsticks, lip liners, gloss. It's such a sophisticated shade and Spirited Away encompasses that entirely. Just, it makes me feel grown just right. And overall, I find the luxuriously lucent lip 
formula to be insanely ideal for summer. It's lightweight but gives enough color and it has a bit of shine. Yes, if you want shine shine, then you would apply a gloss on top. Why not? I get it. You know, that glossy sparkly lip is definitely summertime appropriate, but just sticking with the balm side of things, I think it incredibly easy. Just more carefree in nature, quick. Now, sure, practically speaking, these are very smooth on the softer side. So if you do live somewhere very hot and you're walking around with these in your bag all day, mm, I don't know if they're gonna melt or be too soft where you apply it and the bullet will break. Just be wary of that. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. My lipstick stayed intact on their way here thank goodness. I think because my dad was kind enough to bring up the package so it didn't hang out in the heat downstairs in the mail room. But overall, just be mindful if you find yourself out and about for long hours and you're carrying around this lipstick and you reapply. Just don't go in too hard. Be careful, you know, you don't want these to break. In terms of my thoughts about the colors I purchased, very happy. Happy I didn't go nuts, that I stuck to my guns and said, hey, just buy these three. And it's funny, all three of them are sold out. So I predicted that these will be the colors that will go quickest because they're just remarkable in terms of uh, how many people can wear them, how lovely they will look, and combined with the shades that I already own, it's gonna be a party. And I wanted to quickly show Rose Official, Rose Official, rosier than Spirited Away. Looks a little more pink than Spirited Away, but it works. I'm happy that I bought this before last year. Had to put back on Meet Me in Berlin too close out this video. Let me know if you bought any of Lisa's new lipsticks, new shades, what you think of them. Have you been combining them and whatnot? I cannot wait to wear these more often to pair them with other blushes, bronzer highlighters, eyeshadow palettes, and just get the looks going. I'll see you down in the comments fam. And until then, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you here again with another review tutorial, lipstick extravaganza, monthly faves, or vlog. Take care, and I will see you again soon.